continuing on his quest to find out who's behind all these murders, the P.I. finds himself in the Orient. Now he has to make his way to the karate school of one of his friends to find out about the murder there. The only means to get there is by train. While he sits back to enjoy the scenery, he thinks about how many lives were sacrificed by this maniac in order to prove his point. And what point is that? Just a little more time and we will be in the main square and then off to the karate school to meet with Mr. Tiger. P.I. gives his formal regret to the sensei for the loss of his brother and assures that he will find the killer. He remembers the time that they fought together during the war in the special ops. The P.I. tells him whoever did this will pay a price. He just came from another killing. There's something that may be connected and he will meet him later at his favorite place to dine and discuss the specifics of the murders. Taking in the sights of the town square he finds his way to his friend's favorite dining place. He sees there's a lot going on at this place. Everyone seems to be preoccupied in their own business. The PI wonders how someone maneuvered around without being noticed to do the killing. The P.I. spots Rosie's Dinner, not Dinah? What an unusual name for a place. So this must be the spot. <laughs> he meets up with his friend and they decide to get a table. They discuss how would someone get into the dojo to do the killing? Maybe the help from a rival school. Or maybe what they did as a special unit during the war. Finishing up their talk and getting ready to leave, he once again gives his regrets to what happened to his friend's brother and vows to revenge it. The P.I. will now follow up on his leads to track down the ones responsible for all these murders. It's nighttime in the square and anything can happen. The 
P.I. was warned about traveling around the square after dark. Suddenly, out of nowhere, come four individuals. They seem like little kids, but are highly skilled in the arts. They've got him surrounded, and he has no way out. The P.I. tries to warn them to no avail. He must fight. They are too strong and take him down. Luckily, his friend wasn't too far behind and comes to his defense to fight off the kid assassin. The assassins are no match for the highly skilled techniques of the P.I.'s friends. So they hurry off, leaving the P.I. laying there. The local police are called to the scene. Now the P.I. and his friend has some explaining to do. The P.I. and his friend say that they are all right, and the problem has been taken care of. The police still needs more information and wish to speak to them more on this matter. The P.I. then says he's working with the government to solve an international murder case. Lurking in the background is a shadowy figure that might be linked to this case. The PI still thinks this whole case is linked to the couple that got married on the island. <laughs> 